In this part, we are going to create a Apollo servers. So first, we create a directory. And then we go inside this folder. And then we type cook dot to enter the VS Code. Now, after we enter the VS Code, we create a folder called server. And then we go inside the terminal. And we enter the server folder by typing cd server. And then we type npm in it and that's why to use the default values so now we have the package.json and then we install the package like express so we type npm i express and also install the apollo server express and graphql and also the mongoose and if you haven't installed the Nokmon, you could type npm i Nokmon and install globally by using dash 3. And this is allow us to automatically st start the server or restart the server when there are file changes. And before we continue, we go to the package.json and we add a line called type. And then we choose modules so we can use the import and export syntax like in client side. So now we back to the server and we create index.js and inside the index.js we import the express from express and then we also import the Apollo server from the Apollo server express and after that we create a type depth and also the resolver and we create a very simple query. So we type constant type depth is equal to GQL. And we should import this from the Apollo Express server. So we continue and we add the type query. And the name is welcome. And we expect it will return a string. And then we continue to create the resolvers and we type query and we generate the response of welcome is to return a string which is welcome to CK Mobile. And we need to type the colon in between the query and the curly bracket. And now we continue to create the init server function. So we type async function init server. And then we type constant app is equal to express. And then we pass the type apps and also the resolvers to the Apollo server. So we type constant Apollo server is equal to new Apollo server. And then we pass the type app and also the resolvers. So before we apply the middleware, we need to start the Apollo server. So we await Apollo server dot start and then Apollo server dot apply middleware and then we pass the app inside these apply middleware functions and then we create a very simple response so later we can see whether the server starts successfully so we use app dot use request response and then we just return the server start successfully and then we create a port constant port is equal to process dot environment dot port or 5000 we do this is just prepare for later for the deployment to the remote server and then we use app dot listen port and then we return console dot load press server is running on port and then we pass the port variable inside this string and at last we have to init the server so we save it and then we try to start the server by typing nokmon index. Now you can see it start running on the port 5000. So now if we type localhost 5000, it will return the string server start successfully. And we can go to the GraphQL by typing forward slash GraphQL. And it will provide a UI for you to start testing the query for example we can type the query welcome this is just a arbitrary name you can name it whatever you want so it already provide a example so we try to execute and you can see it returned a string which is welcome to ck mobile which we set at here